When Doctor Who first hit our TV screens in 1963, who could have imagined that it would still be going strong five decades on? The Doctor Who cast and crew have had an amazing time filming in this anniversary year. And now you're going to get a little taste of a very exciting journey. It's been brilliant fun. We've managed to catch up with old friends. Now that is brilliant! And meet some new ones. We filmed in some fantastic locations. <laughs> amazing. And it's been quite emotional. What a great moment. One of the best moments I've had on Who. Yes, it's great moments like these that make this episode of Doctor Who a real momentous event. And it all started on a chilly day in April. God, it's so cold. Where the 11th Doctor had some catching up to do. All right, mate. And writer Stephen Moffat was glad to have finally completed the script. Well, today is the read-through of the 50th. Uh, yes, it's the last 50 years to get to this exact room at this exact time. Uh, this is all incredibly secret, even more so than normally on Doctor Who. I don't think uh, I've ever had to write a script like this one. This one was extraordinary. So many things changing and shifting around, so many different possibilities arising and disappearing. I think it's probably the time I really earned my money. Stephen really had his work cut out, not only creating a show that celebrates the past, but also takes Doctor Who into a brand new era. Those guys from 50 years ago, they managed to make something that lasted for 50 years, that was celebrated in 50 years' time. We've got to provide the impetus to get to the 100th. That's what we've got to do. It's the next chapter in the Doctor's life, and it starts here. Well, if we're to get anywhere near the 100th, we'd better get moving quite sharpish. Lights, camera, and, yes, a bit of a speech from the producer. Ladies and gents, welcome to the 50th anniversary. Thank you for being here. Good luck. <laughs> first shot of the day in 3D, Doctor Who, and I'm reading quantum physics. And the first day on set began in the TARDIS, filming the opening scene with Matt and Jenna. Oh, hello. Dear one, on the 50th anniversary. I'm about to uh, go and do my motorbike stunt. Camera track back. With my male stunt double. He's got better legs than I have. This episode gave us the opportunity to look back through Doctor Who history and meet up with some familiar faces. And one man was to finally get the call he'd been waiting for. It's been vaguely talked about, very casually, for uh, uh, probably a couple of years now. So when people think I've been lying in every press interview I've done for the last three years, I haven't been. I've genuinely not known uh, if this was going to happen or not. It's just lovely to, to know that, that there was going to be a 50th special and I'd been invited to be part of it. That is brilliant! And another familiar face was back with a whole new wardrobe and looking pretty good, if you ask me. What do you think of my new look? I think it's great. Uh, I, I like the... Did you do these holes yourself? <laughs> I was very nervous about coming back and then terrifying being in the space that suddenly belongs to other people. And so it feels like you're coming into their space and it's a bit awkward at first. She's a very kind of sophisticated um, piece of equipment, a bit more well-managed than Rose Yes, Billy's costume has changed, but maybe David could have tried a bit harder. We made more effort in my day. You yeah. didn't make an effort, but... I didn't. didn't. But it still fits. It still fits, yeah. It feels so familiar and yet so completely disorientating to be back wearing the same suit and trying to look five years younger. And it's got posh. Look, we get chairs now. Bring it that in my day. This is, they've clearly got more budget than they used to have. Yes, David. And we had the budget to cast some new faces as well. And one was more than a little excited when asked to be in Doctor Who. My first thought was, oh, my God, I'd love to be in Doctor Who. I really, really want to be in it. My second thought was, oh, my God, playing Queen Elizabeth I. And then my third thought was, oh, my God, I've got a six-week-old baby. <laughs> I've got my baby in the car with the heater on and with my husband. She's not just sitting in the car driving around in it. I want a photo taken with her and the Zygon. Yeah, and the TARDIS as well. <laughs> oh, my God, you look amazing. <laughs> <laughs> my costume is just fantastic and um, it's just beautiful. 
Well, she is loving her new dress, but it did create a problem, didn't it, Joanna? I know, I just went flat on my face. While some people were falling over themselves to be in Doctor Who, others were having to pinch themselves. When I got the phone call saying I was going to be involved in the 50th anniversary special, I, I literally walked around for about an hour saying, oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God, I couldn't believe it. I was so excited. Yes. And then I got the script. It's unbelievable. I actually cried a little bit several times, and that's from just reading it. So I can't imagine what it would be like to watch it. Geronimo! Geronimo, indeed. Yes, the brilliant script was to impress yet another of the show's stars, but she struggled to stay quiet about being in the anniversary special. It was quite difficult, because she just wanted to jump up and down a bit and say, never guess. But... And until now, Gemma has been tight-lipped about her own connections to Doctor Who. In her younger days, she was invited to meet the villains that have kept us hiding behind the sofa for 50 years. My dad was an actor, and when I was little, he said, I'll take you in, they're not real. You can see them, you can touch them. And I remember being absolute, just, I think I cried when he said that. I said, I don't want to go anywhere near them. So who's Gemma talking about? Yes, you've guessed it, the Daleks. And there was no way they were missing the chance to get their grubby plungers all over this special episode. Exterminate! And another classic creature to reappear after a 38-year absence are the Zygons, up to more shape-changing shenanigans. And I understand that after all this time, they have something they wish to say to the Doctor. <sighs> I'll get you one day. <laughs> Dream on, Zygon. The Doctor and his enemies are only part of the picture, because it wouldn't be Doctor Who without some rather brilliant locations, especially Gemma's new London pad. Hello, and welcome to my office, the Tower of London. And whilst filming, Jenna was lucky enough to explore some tourist hotspots, some rather macabre ones. We have been in the oldest club in London. We've seen a replica of one of the big execution accents today. <laughs> That's been a, another new day on Doctor Who land. And as usual, Doctor Who was attracting quite a bit of attention. The crowds are out, yeah. We're, tomorrow morning, we're up very early to go to Trafalgar Square. I think we might have a, quite a lot of crowds down that way. On Doctor Who, we like to keep things top secret so the next day, the cast and crew had to get out of bed at some unearthly hour. And, of course, we were in London, so, yes, rain. And as the TARDIS materialised from the back of a lorry, it wasn't long before our secret was out and the crowds were settling themselves into front row seats for Matt's live show. Oh, God. If this is the end, guys, it's been a pleasure. <laughs> it's been an honour. <laughs> I think he actually quite enjoyed hanging around with Lord Nelson. Amazing. And I'm guessing Jenna was also rather excited. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. It's just exciting. I, I, like it kind of, um, it's just nice being in the centre of London filming Doctor Who. It's something kind of quite British about, about the whole thing. Yes, someone is definitely enjoying herself. It makes you kind of feel like, like you're a big kid in a way. I can honestly say that I'm pretty sure there's no other job like it. I hope it was an amazing experience for the fans too. It certainly was for Matt and Jenna. See ya. It's a day they're not going to forget in a hurry. At the heart of the anniversary episode is the story of the Doctor's darkest day, which began a long time ago on Gallifrey. And another former resident of the planet was said to join the long list of doctors. Yes, we were excited to be joined by yet another Time Lord. It all happened incredibly quickly, actually. I was doing a play in Dublin, and suddenly I got this message through, and I had to make up my mind whether I was going to do it very, very quickly. And I said, yes. I didn't really have any time to prepare it or anything, so I, I got back on the Thursday before Easter, and on the Monday I came to Wales. It was all a bit of a rush. A great script and full of fancy. A lot of fun. I felt that it's, you know, I can't give this a miss. Yes, this was a role he was more than happy to take on. Uh, working with Billy Piper is, is, is absolutely a, a real shot in the arm. It's terrific. She's wonderful and I love her. 
And, and also, I think both the boys are fabulous. I really do. I think they are ace at what they do. Dead on. Ladies and gentlemen, I think you should welcome the gentleman, John Hurt, and Matt Smith with Janet Three Doctors. With three doctors on set, the boss became rather unprofessional, in my opinion. I don't really know quite what to do. We are in total fan out here. I think everybody is. And there's a specific rule about not taking photographs on set. And as the person who enforced it and came up with it, uh, I obviously contradict it all the time. I really should be arrested. It's just as well we had someone else in charge that day. I'm keeping them all in check. Really? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I'm the boss, really. Ish. And Stephen was genuinely overwhelmed to have a few other doctors popping up in this iconic episode. All the Doctors do make an appearance in this, all of them, including the one who's yet to be. And then as an extra special treat, uh, Tom Baker appears at the end. If you know the history of Doctor Who, uh, this is a huge thing, because he's never come back to that part, not on television. That scene had people, people who were watching it being made, they, they were in tears, because they were, they were seeing the impossible sight. They were seeing Matt Smith, who is the Doctor, face to face with the, uh, with the man who is the Doctor, who's, uh, who's Tom Baker. Who mm. knows? With the Doctor celebrating a glorious half-century, it was time to record a fitting finale. And for some, it was extremely emotional. We played some music to sort of that last shot that pans out. I just think, I just think that's going to be a real fan. I feel quite, I'm quite excited by it, actually, and uh, uh, I think I might be a fan's favourite. What a great moment, one of the best moments I've had on Who, definitely. I'd like to think we've done the Doctor proud with this anniversary episode, and I hope you've enjoyed seeing how we did it. Absolutely fantastic. And board, please. Well, what more is there left to say? I'm Colin Baker, the sixth Doctor. Happy anniversary, Doctor Who. Hello, I'm John Hurt, and I'd really like to wish Doctor Who a very, very happy 50th anniversary. I'm Paul McGann. Happy 50th, Doctor Who. Mwah. Hello, I'm David Tennant, wishing Doctor Who a very happy 50th birthday. You don't look a day over 49. Happy 50th birthday to Doctor Who. Happy 50th anniversary to Doctor Who. To all those who work on Doctor Who in the past, thank you. In the present, good luck. Happy anniversary, Doctor Who. 